What's up, everybody? It's your boy Locked and Loaded, and today we're gonna be heading to the range. We're gonna put a few rounds down, uh, down this new piece that I got from my Glock, and then we're gonna come back here and talk about it. And we are talking about the Radian Ramjet Afterburner Cop and Barrel Combo. Just, just look at that. Look at that config. This is the Glock 19X frame with a 19 Gen 5 slide. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're gonna head to the range, put some, uh, some lead down range, and see. How do we like this? How does this stack up against a stock Glock 45 or 19 months? All right, uh, so like I said, we go ahead to the range. We go, uh, we go test out this Radium Ramjet Afterburner. Um, like I said, I've been looking for this thing since it came out, but it has been out of stock. So finally got one. We're gonna see how it go. All that good stuff, and I'm just looking forward to it. So it's been a while since I did a video like this. I figured why not do it now. All right, so we on the way to the range, and um, I'm probably gonna stop and get me, get me some, cause your boy hungry. All right, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I ain't eat yet. Um, the time is now 12:40, so it's like midday. The range closed at five on Sundays. So uh, sorry about the speed bump, y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna stop and get me something to eat. But let's talk about this this compensator and why it, uh, it blew up all of a sudden. So the compensator is is not your typical one. Like it's not a threaded barrel. Um, it doesn't function that way. And so the way it works is you get a proprietary barrel from uh, from Radian. That's called the Ramjet. And then um, the barrel, I mean the compensator fits over top of it, and it's held in by a pin. So I make sure I show y'all that in the video. Um, we know when we get back home, but it's held in by a pin. And so with that design, it makes it legal pretty much in all 50 states. For those states that don't allow, uh, you know, threaded barrels and all of that, sorry for y'all, but it does make it illegal. So for a while, I mean, the shit has been out of stock. I used to search for it like every day. And I mean, that's every day for a couple months and I could never find it. But luckily I happened to log on one day. I was on uh, Optics Planet and they happened to have it in stock. So um, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and get it. So I purchased it. It stayed in stock for like a day and a half. And I was surprised at that because there was a ton of people trying to get their hands on it. But it stayed in stock for like a day and a half. I was happy I got mine. It delivered in like three days. So that was super dope. Um, and I was like, all right, if I'm going to do this, I might as well go ahead and get me a, a slide that, you know, that's already cut for an optic so I don't ruin my 19 next slide. So I did that. And it pissed me off because the slide, the uh, front of the slide, the Gen 5 one that I bought, it didn't have the same bevel as the Glocks. So the uh, Ramjet Afterburner would not fit on there. I'll make sure I throw that slide up here on the screen so that you know, like, if you're trying to do this, don't buy that slide. But um, I reached out to one of my homies. I was like, hey, you got an MOS slide? And he was like, yeah. And so I offered to trade him the slide that I had since he does not run the compensator. And he was all for it. So shout out to my boy Pistol Pete. Um, I make sure I put his link in the, in the description below. But shout out to him for, uh, for providing me with his slide and, you know, doing that, that swap for me, all that good stuff. So now I got my two-tone Glock. I got some more stuff that I'm planning to do with it. Um, shout out to, um, I'm going to call him Homeless Mike this time because I called him the sexy motherfucking name Mike last time. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it up top. If you didn't see that, but um, I caught him that, and then I got some backlash from somebody in his household. So he is now officially homeless, Mike. Again, shout out to him for doing my Springfield prodigy. But um, I'm gonna reach out to him, see what we can get going with this Glock as well. But um, like I said, back to the story, cause I'm getting off topic. Pistol P gave me the uh the slide, so again, shout out to him. And now I am on the way to put some rounds down range. We'll probably shoot about a hundred just for the day. I don't really want to spend too much time here because it is my day off. And um, I don't know about y'all, but I don't like going to work on my day off. So we only go throw 100 rounds that range. I make sure I get some footage for you. Try to get some slow-mo footage so you can see the difference and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, man, outside of that, I'm going to see y'all when we get to the range. For my firearm content viewers that don't know, I do stream on YouTube as well. I'm um, stream playing video games, mostly shooters. But um, like I said, if you didn't know, I do. I do have my 1K Dreyway shirt on now. Um, I just did a giveaway with that. Shout out to John Boy GG for winning that. But yeah, if you're interested in gaming as well, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and that noti bell so you can know when I go live. 
we're going to smack our local range here. Like I said, I also do work here, so I'm not going to be here too long because who likes going to work on their off day? Um, I know I really don't, but, um, you know, like I said, I got I to gotta get this content out for y'all. It's hard. It's really hard being a gun tuber, I guess is what, what it's called. It's really hard doing that because it's like, okay, what's new? Like, what do people even want to see? Like, I'm new to this whole thing. I don't know what works and what doesn't. I'm still learning all of the rules of YouTube and, and guns and all that good stuff. Like, this channel started as, like, drums and music. Then it went to fishing and, and what else? Fishing, gaming. I got a photography channel. But I'm just like, you know what? That's too much to manage. I'm going to keep it all in the same place. So uh, this channel will have guns, gaming, and fishing whenever I can get out there, man. That's the only thing that's so hard to get out there on the water. So hard to get on the water. I'm gonna eat this food real quick, then we go right into the store. We're gonna be shooting some Winchester white box. That's with the Glock uh, 45. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit better. I'm gonna aim. I aim for the head this time. I was aiming center mass. So 45. That's gonna be the 19x. 19x. 10 rounds. target so that is the 19 nets that is the 45 45 with no compensator 19 next with the radiant branch the afterburner I definitely was pulling low and left so let's see if we can clean that up a little bit five rounds tighter so we're gonna do we're gonna do uh 10 more rounds on the 45 and 10 more on the afterburner just so we can compare see how they both look yeah. i do have a 15 pound guy uh spring in there with the it's the radian uh compressor spring so i'll make sure i mention that when we get home as well but i have that in my 19x versus the stock block. so we'll go over all of that when we get back to the, to the house so we got 10 loaded up for each one. So we'll do the 45 first. Oh, 
overall, I'm definitely liking this a lot. It doesn't shoot as hard. It feels feels really good. Um, Groove is a little bit tighter. Much louder though. A lot louder with the compensator. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change my paper. We're gonna do some two to the chest, one to the head drills. I'm gonna probably do five rounds of that. And um, we're gonna do that with this guy here. Just see how it goes. So I need 15 rounds in here to complete the drill. So I'm gonna do the first one and then I'll show y'all. Well, I'm gonna just do them all. I'm gonna do them all and then I'll show you the target at the end. Two to the two to cinemas, one to the head. Um, I will be using the shot timer as well, so we can kind of just you know know when to start. We're gonna start from a low ready, because I can't draw from my holster while people are here. So let's uh, let's get some stuff going. So get the turn on. Hopefully y'all can hear it. If no one else is shooting, I'll let you know like the the splits and all that good stuff. But we're gonna start from here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Mask. Oh, it only registered my shot. So that first shot was at 102, so 1.02 seconds. Overall, two seconds, 2.03. So we'll see if we can get it a little bit better. center mass that was overall 2.73 seconds first shot was a little bit slower at 1.27 same thing from low ready So good center mass right on top of the other shot on the head. So you all see the target once I finish up. 2.41 2 overall. First shot, 1.23. my first shot, so it's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and look at this target. You don't see, I had those couple flyers, so one there, here, and there for my three outside. But I had a couple in the same hole right on the X, and then for my headshots. This is my last one right here. That was the one before, and the other three right on top of each other. So, that's good, that's a good drill, good drill for sure. Last thing, I'm gonna do a mag dump. Uh, we're gonna see how the gun handles and uh, go from there. I wish I had somebody like here to record for me right now, but it is what it is. Mag dump. Outside of that center zone, so that's pretty good. Let's look at the target, then we're gonna get up out of here. So, all within the eight, except for those two shots, as you see, no misses. I know people be crying about the targets and they don't see it. So, yeah, that is my target. We're gonna get up out of here. This thing so far, loving it for sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. I'll see y'all at the house.
All right, as you can see, we are back home in our little gaming space, all that good stuff. Got a little lights in the background. Hope you don't mind. And I'm using this so that I can hear my audio, make sure it's a little bit better than the last video. However, we are, like I said, back from the range. I'm going to go ahead and show that this is clear. I'm going to lock it open. Go take a look there. You see nothing in the chamber. Point in the safe direction. So we are clear. Um, overall, I would say that this compensator is a, uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, strong 8 out of 10. Um, the barrel itself is cut and then you slide the compensator on. Somebody asked how does it lock on there? So this pin here, um, it's just, you know, you just screw it out. Whole thing comes off. You can put it back on, tighten it. You are good to go. Easy, easy install uh, for this compensator here. Um, and the thing that I like the most about it is you still got the, you know, basically it's a, a Glock 17. The size of this whole firearm and this configuration is the size of a 17. Um, I do have a 19x slide, a 19x frame with a 19 Gen 5 slide on here. And I'm uh, truly, like I said, I'm truly a fan of this. Uh, before, I was not a fan of Glocks. I didn't like the way that they shot for me. Just didn't work out. But this, with this configuration, super, super nice. Um, I have the compressor guide rod with the 15 pound spring in there. Um, the, you know, barrel and compensator and the Glock performance trigger. That is all that I've done here. I'm probably going to look into doing some stippling on the frame soon and um, maybe a little customization. So we'll see. Of course, I will also be throwing on my red dot. I have a 507C that I'll be putting on there. But outside of that, man, I'm like I said, I'm truly a fan of it. Um, I enjoy shooting this firearm now. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can catch all of the videos that do drop as well as my live streams. Um, I do stream, I play a bunch of video games, mainly shooters. So if you're into that type of thing and you like firearms, this is definitely the place for you. Um, I did just give a give away one of these shirts as my 1K Dreyway shirt for when I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you are interested in that, let me know down below. I will be getting the uh, store up soon for these to be purchased as well. Um, just overall, man, thanks for all of the support. Thank you for sticking through and watching this video. I know it was longer, sorry about that, but I wanted to test a few things out and show you all the results. But um, outside of that, like I said, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great one, and I will catch you all next time. Peace.